hoping to call attention to an issue that will be front and center in this year's race for president. Some legislators are calling for action surrounding immigration and the influx of illegal drugs. Political reporter Rick Albin joins us in studio with more on that. Rick. Sue and Brian, Republicans in the Michigan Senate are calling on stronger measures to deal with problems associated with the continuing migration at the nation's southern border. Record numbers of people from around the world continue to flood into the U.S. border, creating headaches thousands of miles away in sanctuary cities and virtually everywhere with an influx of fentanyl. Senator Eric Nesbitt, the minority leader in the Senate, today introduced measures he says are aimed at curbing the problem, at least in Michigan. What this plan does is a few few things. One is that it goes ahead and bans these so-called sanctuary cities here in the state of, of Michigan. By banning sanctuary cities, this means you can't have what you see in Denver, Chicago, New York, where you see hundreds of thousands of illegal migrants showing up on the doorsteps and at, getting services and, and uh, not knowing what their history and record are. And Nesbitt also wants stronger penalties for fentanyl, and that's included in the legislation being introduced. Given the political volatility of the issue of immigration itself, it's unclear when or if majority Democrats will bring up those bills. Sue?